At first, we need to create our part. In here, we change the name at first. And now, revolution type, the size is OK. We select the circle. The center of the circle should be in 25 centimeter. And the radius is 1 centimeter. So the next point for radius is, should be 26 centimeter. So here is the 1 centimeter circle. And we can go and change the angle to 1800 and the pitch is 0 0.05. Yeah, it's good. And now we can go to define the property density elastic in property for density. We can have 2800 and for elastic. 200 gigapascal which means 209 and plus on is 0.3 we create a section and we assign the natural property to the part and it turns green which means that we uh, the it has the property now we go to the next part uh, which means the uh, assign uh, inserting the model at uh, the part we um, I change it so we, I can have the, I can mesh it in the uh, assembly part I will show you in the mesh start uh, mesh step in create in step we need to create two step the first step for moving the for pre, uh, for showing the pressure in the spring and then in the second step we want to see the res, uh, response of the spring after we release it so the period the time period is 0 0.25 uh, sorry 0 0.05 and in the next step we need to if one second is enough so everything's fine in here now we can go to interaction and in interaction we need to define in the initial the general contact because it might have contact the spring might have contact with itself so explicit general contact we need to define the material property uh, the contact property contact we change the mechanical tangential behavior penalty and 0 0.2 for friction we use this uh, coefficient and Yes, I checked the alt with self. Now you see the define it here in load initial and caster here and also I need to move it, move this part in the first step about one uh, 10 centimeter which is 0 0.1 which diff, uh, in every explicit model we need to define the amplitude uh, to have a better result uh, I might suggest you to select the smooth step in a smooth step when the time is zero we need to scale it to the zero and uh, scale the value of 10 centimeter I mean and time uh, 1 uh, 0 0.5 0 0.05 we might need to scale it to 1 I check it and now I want to uh, release it after in the second step so I should deactivate the displacement in this step and in mesh first I change the this value to 0 0.025. Uh, sorry, 0 0.02, and I select the medial so I can have better mesh. And that's it. Yeah, we're good. And now we can go for the next step, uh, and we should change the element type to explicit. If you check this reduce integration it means that uh, you need a 
faster results if you need to have a faster result check it but if you need to have a better uh, more accurate better precision uh, results you uncheck it sometimes may uh, result in error so we use uh, hourglass if for example I uncheck it you see that it, it don't use the hourglass control but for explicit it's okay and then in job we create the job everything's fine in here now we can create some start the model it might take a while a few minutes at least okay uh, the job is completed uh, and now we can see the results in here you see there is the stress first in as if you can if you see this part is step time until 0 0.05 it's we pressing uh, we put the pressure on it and then after that we release it and now we, we can see the response and it would like this and also if you want to see the, the logarithmic uh, train you can see the results in here so yep thank you very much for watching this video i hope we, uh, you enjoyed this if you have any question or even if you have any problem in modeling please let us know so we can build those models for you and create a video of them so we can pr improve our website until the next video bye